Hello, let's review the new AI writing tool that recently became available on AppSumo. It is called Yara and it is available for $39 to start. And for the first license tier, you already get two users. And the second one looks pretty generous, 1,100 words, and you get five users. So if you have virtual assistants or you plan to hire someone to help with your content creation, actually this license tier may be a good fit for you. And in license tier four, you actually get unlimited words. Not sure nowadays if you can keep up with unlimited words and still produce uh, very good content. This is their main website. In general, it looks professional and clean. They show that they have good ratings on Trustpilot. And I've checked their Facebook group. They have over 400 team members there. So on the time when they hit up Sumo, they already got some traction and built some community around their tool. They have some traffic already to their website. That's how their main UI looks like. The great thing about this tool that when you sign up with them, you get seven days free trial, which has access to all pro features. So inside Yara, you have tools which are separated by categories, focused on ads, blog, e-commerce, email, and other tools. Let's test long form writer. I have keyword prepared. We've got our outline. Okay. I think it missed a key point that we need a website for free. Let's regenerate outline. Now it's better. Having uh, token points is actually great to have you more control what will be in your output. In this case, it generated, I think, more than I needed. For example, in introduction, I don't need HTML and CSS coding and how to publish a website. Okay, let's regenerate. Let's try to optimize it. Okay, I removed some token points. I like how it starts and puts focus on the free resources, but then I see it's pretty inaccurate to have a domain. It suggests that you need invest $1,000 per year. Okay, we can fix that later. I see it probably treats each paragraph as own mini blog post because I don't see continuity between sections. I'm not sure how to save it. It's in notes, but how can I save it? Okay, let's test another tool, block in a snap. I have a different keyword. Okay, it says I have all the pro features. However, I cannot choose the language. All right, I ran out of the credits. Let me create another account. For a medium lens, it doesn't seem too good. Let's test long. Again, with this tool blocking a snap, we are getting not enough words for a blog post. However, though, the content makes sense, but the lens is unsatisfactory. Let's check some other tools. Abracadabra. It would be nice to have some examples. Here they are. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, basically it didn't add anything new to the topic, just expanded it a bit that it can automate mundane tasks. Okay, let's check another tool, Document AI. It looks like you can choose 
any tool they have and use it right in the document. User experience, I would say, is pretty nice. Let's try YouTube description. I'm not sure why, but this feature is not working for me. Let's try with an AI prompt. It stopped writing. I need to press command J one more time. It stopped again. Yeah, this fourth flow is not working very well for me. Let's check some other features. Keyword extractor. Let's extract some keywords. Not sure we will need this feature. On the plus side, I like how this tool looks. So let's see what else we have in this tool. Besides tools, they have recipes. For example, let's try this one. Okay, definitely it has some learning curve. I think this is a powerful feature. It could be, but you need some time to learn how to use it. Because for example, it seems you can create your own recipes. For example, honest review of a product. So you pre-populate the structure of your review, then you have written comments, what should go first, second. You hit compose and you have your review or whatever you need in a unified structure. Actually, it's a good promise, but you will need to spend some time to get familiar with the tool. So besides the tools, they have also templates and they have a lot of those. Let's see, for example, about us. Okay, so it seems when you choose a recipe, it brings you to a so-called magic tool Abracadabra and you can generate your content. So they have some predefined ones and you can save your own recipes. Actually, it's a pretty powerful feature. And I had similar workflow in Brainwork. For example, for different products, I needed to create content in the same structure. And in Brainwork, I was able to do that with comments. In Yara, you would be able to create your own template. For example, it would be company name. So you will bring your template, then replace a company name. Let's try it. Okay, I think it delivered exactly what I needed. And really, I think this is the most powerful feature in this tool. So you can easily create your templates and thus save time on the content creation. I liked the user experience, how the design of the website looked, how the tools were structured. In the long-form content generation part, I like that they provided generation of token points. However, I didn't like that it generated more token points than I needed. And each section was treated like a mini separate blog post. And there was no, almost no connection between parts of the sections. Another tool, Block in a Snap, it produced uh, the content on topic. However, even when I asked it to produce long content, it generated only about 300 words. One thing that I very liked about this tool is their templates, where you can save some pieces of your workflow and you can really customize how the output should look like. And thus you can save a lot of time. If you like this tool,
please try this by the link in the description. And with Absomo deal, you can try it for two months risk-free with money-back guarantee and see if this tool is the right choice for you. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.